Hello and welcome magic lovers. The deck of the week this week is Edgar Markov. And I may have missed the bus on this one a little bit. Edgar Markov hasn't won a 5-0 in a week. And people are starting to learn how to beat this. Uh, a Wrath or two, usually just one, is enough to soften the damage that comes. Uh, there's some decent cheap Wraths, you know, like Pyroclasm and such, um, are, are pretty darn good against this deck. Uh, saw last week I played Engineered Plague against uh, Edgar Markov and it was really effective. Um, so there's there's quite a few ways to beat this deck. I do think the deck has shaken up the metagame quite a bit. There's uh, some new interesting decks in the 5-0 list. So, and there's not much Timna. So maybe maybe it's it's good, but you know, the deck itself seems to have fallen to the wayside a little bit. We'll see if if it continues to fall by the wayside, it might come back from time to time to keep the meta game in check. Um, but it uh, it might allow the meta game to go back to what it was as well. So we'll we'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, it definitely has had a presence on the meta game, and I think I would be remiss if I didn't at least try it out. Maybe I should have tried it out last week, but. Uh, I really was excited to try out Kess, and it looks like you guys enjoyed that uh, that one as well. So uh, I'm going to take it to a league and see if uh, see if we get beat by people playing Wrath, or if we actually uh, can uh, do a lot of damage really quickly and uh, and kill some people. All right, got match one. I am on the plane, which is a good thing. Got yeah, this hand looks this hand looks fine. Playing against Karanos which is uh, an anti-commander card, or anti-Edgar uh, Markov. But we might be able to go wider than Karanos can uh, can go. So I'm going to get a uh, Badlands here, play the Aristocrat. And then uh, let's auto-yield to that. I got Mental Misstepped. Hmm, didn't expect that. But, yeah, don't play around it. I maybe should have led with the uh, Dustborn. FFF, did they drop the wrong land? Alright, so my opponent's been gone for almost eight minutes. They actually came back, joined the connection two minutes ago and I, I don't know what happened but that was uh had to just sit there and wait they're down to 11 minutes to my 19. um i don't know if they've misplaced their land because if they have like a force bike or a spell snare they would definitely want to counter this uh we're definitely picking vampire oh yeah it doesn't count as a vampire itself until it's in play so i don't get an Edgar Markov trigger. Uh, this dismember is probably not going to do anything. Um, I do need to worry about earthquake type effects. A braid. All right, that's unfortunate. Yeah, losing steam pretty quick. I'm I'm gonna go for the the double. Play the Blood Artist. We at least have this Mutavault. Got my down opponent down to a whopping 26. That mi Mimic would have helped a ton. Magus of the Moon. Alright. Training for one. Yeah, doing the uh, the dustborn doesn't do anything. Let's play this with the hills. So I got another moon effect. 
Not much I can do about it. Got my opponent down to 19. They can Wasteland the Mutavolt, but I don't know how good that is. I'm gonna, this thing's probably getting countered, but I'm gonna go for it. It's just gotta be red. We got two black. Yeah, I'm gonna get Blood Crypt. Oh, they don't actually have blue up. Let's attack with all. I'm probably going to wasteland that wasteland. I intentionally held that wasteland until after combat and everything. Um, so that my opponent didn't know it was coming. If they don't have another land. Oh, yeah, that uh, that does it. Because playing Karanos actually doesn't do anything either. All right, I got match two. I am against Keep Flying, another YouTuber. Uh, he is on the play, and he is also playing Edgar Markov. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. I don't think Strong Kirk Nogul is going to do a whole lot against the other vampires. Uh, Girl Dog, eh. Girl Draws Assassin might. Nameless Inversion, probably pretty good. Opponent leads out with a skull clamp. I still don't, I mean, like, Stormkirk Noble doesn't do anything. Maybe I play it and swing with it anyways. I, I can't do anything with the Goldraws Assassin. Yeah, it makes two of them. We'll just, we'll just consider it as a one-one. The uh, other abilities on it don't really matter much. Otherwise, it's just rotting in my hand. And if I wait to play it later, Gold Draw's Assassin is better later. It just keeps getting better and better um, the more mana I have. But the Stormkirk Noble is only good now. Alright, opponent plays Sacred Foundry and a Chrome Mox. So this might be big. Got rid of Zulaport Cutthroat, not a vampire. Are they playing a different deck? Yeheni. Which I can't... I can kill. I can kill a couple ways. Whenever a creature an opponent dies, put a plus one plus one counter, sacrifice another creature, it gains indestructible. Oh, it has haste as well. Alright, I'm just going to take it. I don't want these creatures to die. I could, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. All right, let's take this through. I can kill the vampire to get through with a Stormkirk Noble. It becomes a 2-2, but then I'm dealing with a Yeheni uh, that could get out of control. I don't think that's the right play. I could... So I can dismember it. Dismember might be better later. Or I can nameless version it. I can nameless inversion and play a blood from vampire, which is probably pretty good. Let's do that. We don't pay life for that either. Um, it's not as mana efficient. I could dismember a blood throne vampire and gold draws assassin, but And I'm just going to trade the Strong Kirk Nolo. I also got a 1 1 token for this Nameless Inversion, so it's not all bad. Alright, 
and then we will oh I have to use my mana here um, I probably could have done that after combat not that it matters my opponent's tapped out but good practices are good practice uh, blood throne vampire is one of the best creatures in the deck it's almost impossible to block it's really hard to wrath away um, so I'm, I'm leading with that It's really good on attacks as well. Oh, my opponent didn't block. I didn't expect that. They do have a Skull Clamp, which is nuts. Especially in this matchup. They're down to three cards, but Skull Clamp just nets them a bunch of cards. Yep. Not surprising there. Opponent plays a Bloodseeker. Not super worried about that. That's not one of the better creatures in the matchup. And they got something else here, it looks like. Just a 1 1. They got one black mana. Or are they skull clamping something? Might be a little risky to skull clamp. We've got a lot of damage they're facing down. See what we draw. There might be a reason to play this Dragon Skull Summit before it attacks. Probably not. It's just attack with everything. If they block this. It's the same as blocking one of these guys. Alright, Stormcook Noble gets bigger. Let's see if we can race this. Let's play the Bloodsworn. Or the Skull Clamp is what I'm looking to race because the card advantage is real. But it's not card advantage if you die with the cards in your hand. Gonna take four damage total. Let's auto yield to that. And let's play the Govraz Assassin. And auto yield to that. That's pretty wide. They got a removal spell. Oh, I was F6. Okay, it's Fatal Push. Okay, I uh, I should have un F6. Um, but if that were Dismember, I probably would have sacrificed some vampires to save it. Um, it wasn't Dismember, so it doesn't matter. But I shouldn't. I was F6, and uh, I had an ability that was relevant. I shouldn't have F6. Oh, this guy can give things haste. I never noticed that text on the card. Aristocrat is a real threat. But it looks like they're tapping down so they can't use that ability. I could be facing down Soren Markov though. This is two, to, so I need four. I need eight total mana to level this thing up. Before it can kill Seller and mark off for one mana. Because I am absolutely concerned about this Indulgent Aristocrat. They don't have enough vampires to really make it a threat though. Not yet. Hmm. I should have leveled this thing up first. I could have made it a 2-2. Two -two. I didn't think about that. I should have. Alright, let's swing with all these guys. 
because I don't have much else to do. I was thinking of holding up the Dismember. One has six cards in hand. They could just go wide. They might take all their mana, though. I, I can't see. Okay, they're just blocking with the... I mean, that's... It really is one of the best cards in the deck. I don't think blocking with it is very good. All right. So if I level up, Gold draw, draws Assassin, two levels, and then, uh, oh, got a spell. Dismember on Stromkirk Noble, okay. Better than Gold draws Assassin, and they took four life for that. And then, let's level up this guy. Now he's a real threat. Like, he can give things minus two, minus two. It makes all the small creatures not very good. Opponent plays Gifted Aetherborn. And... Vindicate. Man, they just... That skull clamp drew them all the removal. All right. I can give it haste, but then I have to discard this dismember. This thing has lifelink, so I gain stalling out here. I'm trying to. I could kill this thing, but then I can. Can I beat Sower and Markov? If I kill this thing, I cast this thing, I give it haste, say they block it, they take five damage. And then I can beat Sora Markov, he doesn't have first strike and haste. Never noticed he has haste before, makes sense. They're probably not attacking with it. Is that too aggressive? Otherwise, I'm just attacking for two. And then sitting back. I don't think it is too aggressive. I think I'd go for it. I think it puts my opponent in the worst spot. They go down to four if they just block a vampire on a vampire. But I'm out of cards. But this ability is a very real ability. So whatever I draw, if it's just junk, then I can pump up all my creatures. I can go very, very wide. So Soren actually looks pretty bad here. Opponent has four other cards in their hand. Let's see if we can get through them. Opponent plays Falconrath Aristocrat. Do they have another creature? I still think. I don't know. Another creature might do it. Sculpt clamping this vampire is definitely out of the question. Alright. 
Unless they they could draw another mana. I don't think they've played a land yet. Oh, and we win! Whew, I'm glad I stopped and thought about that. Uh, I was holding on to this member in case of Edgar Markov, but when I did the math, uh, going for that attack, I think, was definitely the right, right way to go. All right, got match three. I am on the play. Playing against Yisan the Wanderer Bard. I have five lands. I think I'm mulligan this by a mile. All right. And yeah, that's actually, as I was saying, that's one of the best cards in the deck. I mean, there are other better ones, but it's it's very good. It's one of the uh, must answer creatures. Oh, gemstone caverns, huh? Wow. And then. I don't know if we, I don't think we thought sees. Let's just make it a, a vampire token. Maybe I should have gone for removal. We didn't expect the gemstone caverns. Nobody ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. All right, uh, so we knew that was coming. Well, let's play it in Thoughtseize, I think. I don't think Thoughtseize is particularly very good against this deck. But Lignify, Accolade, E-Witness. All right, let's take the Lignify. Let's play the Aristocrat. Opponent probably not going to block here. Do they have a land in there? They have a cavern. All right. It's going to get hard. Yisan is also is a 2-3, and he's amazing. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, transform it, it becomes a land. Uh, it's not a May ability, but it doesn't. That doesn't matter. This doesn't do anything in play. All right, they're leveling up. That makes sense. Uh, they hit Pendlehaven. I hit nothing. Um. Shoot. Let's let's do that. We'll get a scrub land. Let's play the interloper. I think I'm gonna attack. Opponent's gonna block the aristocrat almost certainly. And then I'm gonna sack it to its own ability and put a plus one plus one counter on all, all our other guys. It's aggressive, but I don't see myself winning any other way. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, don't love it, but at least we got the 3-2 uh, flyer out of the deal. Well, this accolade creates a ton of mana. Although they probably just want to activate Yisan. So this guy has haste and first strike. Whenever he attacks, put it. Oh, all right. That's a that's a real thing. I can cast him next turn. I don't think my opponent can interfere in any way with me doing that. Played a bunch of practice matches with this. I've played against Edgar Marco before. I've never seen him cast. 
Looks like my opponent's just saying go. Alright. Bloodcast is cool, but not as cool as Soren Markov. Uh, let's, can we avoid life loss here? White, black, red, colorless, colorless. Not that it super matters. Oh, he's six mana. Oh, I'm dumb. I thought he was five mana. It shows how much I've seen him being played. All right, well, next turn, hopefully. Uh, do I attack with these other dorks? It gets four damage in, but sacrifices a creature. Probably this lifelinker. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. My plan is soaring. I don't see another way. I mean, it's it's kind of an anti-soaring plan because it gets rid of one of the creatures that might get a plus one plus one counter, but it posts a bunch of damage onto my opponent, which is a good thing. And then we get another one for the blood ghast. Then my opponent attack, uh, activates Yisong. All right, uh, they feel that they can't afford to be greedy, and they can. I have no cards in hand, so they get to activate it twice. Yeah, never do any removal spells. I certainly wasn't going to mulligan down to five. I had a decent enough hand. Maybe I should have scryed the aristocrat to the bottom, but that didn't feel right either. So, opponent can stair step up to four, which starts to create some real, real threats. Uh, two is kind of a problem. It's the amount of mana they can create. Oh, jeez. Or they just play a bunch of tap creatures. All right, going for you, son. Azusa. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Uh, what's it for? Thought not seer doesn't do anything. Oracle of Moldaya. Doesn't hit a land. Can we hit a land? I guess it's land or vampire. Although vampire significantly worse than land right now. All right. Then they got the Accolade, maybe? Accolite? Or E-Witness to get back that Lignify to stop the uh, Soren beats if Soren comes in? Alright, untapping this guy. This is real, real, real good for these untapped creatures. Not really moving your mana forward, but when you have enough. Oh, they just have it in their hand. Alright, good game. If I had drawn removal, maybe that would have gone differently. Yeah, I, I knew what your hand was. Maybe they misclicked and hit the uh, the reveal hand button. It happens. I got another game. I am on the draw. I'm going to mulligan this. There's no one drops. I'm playing against Yisan. 
This hand looks much better. And I'm gonna, I've got a lot to do in my first few turns. I'd rather hit removal. All right, there's a ranger. It's not a turn one uh, ramper. All right. Get a Badlands, play the Aristocrat, say go. Opponent plays Wasteland, Wasteland Priest of Titania. All right. Um, Play the land first so we can threaten the uh, sacrifice ability. I don't think they want to attack no matter what. And then let's uh, or, um, block. Let's play the Mimic on um, Vampire. And hope we don't die to the Seasun. Opponent plays Wall of Roots, which is going to be good against me, obviously. Let's Hellrider, mate. Help me get out of this mess. And Yisan. And destroying a land, so that's probably not going to happen. Yisan's such a good blocker, though. And we hit a Nameless Inversion. I'm going to Blood Crypt, uh, yes, namelessly invert this thing, make a 2-2 Vampire, I don't think they want to block, but they might block the Metallic Mimic, on the Quirion Ranger. Do I care? I kind of do. But it's too damage. No. It's too much value. They probably wouldn't have. I don't know. They might have. They didn't want to block the aristocrat. Which makes sense. Alright. That's a lot of mana. Alright, there's Yisan. What is it? Three cards in hand. There's a Sage. And a Winter Orb. Okay. Obviously this one. <sighs> I think this deck's just not very good against Yisan. Like these green mana round decks. I don't I don't see an attack without I mean I could Yeah, it's throwing way too much to attack. Let's just make some two twos and say go and then most likely lose. Like they even had the removal spell this time, but they had so much mana that they just replayed Yisan immediately. Alright, they get Lana or Elves. Untapping it. And the fin uh, Scribe Ranger, predictably.
when tabbing it. Do they have enough mana? Apparently that's just for the blocks. I don't know. They can do it on my turn. And they're doing it on my upkeep. I'm sure there's a strong reason to do that. Depends on what they're going for. Three is like Reclamation Sage, Eternal Witness, Azusa. Yeah. So that enters the battlefield tapped. Well, let's attack with everything but the Mimic. Or do I attack with the Mimic? Let's attack with a Mimic. We're not getting that much more value out of it at this point. That, that one's free. Kind of forgot about that, but it doesn't really change my play, I don't think. I'm super dead. Yisun's already on three. I'm just going to jump through my opponent's turn. These, these things take forever. Alright, it's Seedborn Muse. I'm pretty dead. Uh, I can't cast the Hellrider next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna GG it. I'm so dead. Yeah, Woodland Bellow. Yeah, there's, there's no coming back from this. Was that the same opponent? That was the same opponent. Thanks a lot, MT MTGO. Stop doing that, please. For the love of God, fix your league so that you stop putting the same opponents over and over again. That happens all the time. All right, got match three or five. I am on the play. I'm playing against Brea. And this hand looks great. Uh, let's lead off with this thing. And make it Gold Drow's Vampire. Give her the old F6. Brea, huh? Wonder how this matchup is. I have not gotten the opportunity to play it. Steam Vance tapped against. Yeah, that's, that's a strange one. Um, this thing gives things haste. But Blood Mask keeps coming back. Give itself haste as well. Probably want to play the Blood Ghast. Puts my opponent's removal at a negative. There's a Mana Rock. All right, let's, let's get in. So I can play this, but I think Mirror Entity is much better. Makes Brea unable to block anything. Unless they have removal. Oh, opponent has fiery confluence. We're drawing lands. Yes, please. Probably just swamp's fine. Oh my god, no, a swamp is not fine. I 
I needed to get a blood crypt. That was a big mistake there. All right, Talisman and then Brea. All right. Let's get Blood Crypt. Yes. That's red, red. Black, black. Play Hellrider. I'm not going to attack with Hellrider. Should have. Oh no, I needed the fetch land. Man, that fetch land play. It's really bad, wasn't it? And I accidentally hit F2. I think we're in a bad way anyways. But if I played Hellrider a turn sooner, yeah, it looks like they have all the answers. All right, Aristocrats. Hope they don't have a, a counter spell. Let's go ahead and play this too. Swords of Plowshare. All right, that's unfortunate. If I had attacked, they would have still done that. Or it just has all the answers. I would have imagined this deck could go wide against it, but that Fiery Confluence, that was a pretty big blowout. I maybe could have played around it a little better. All right, that has swap block. Oh, I thought I could multi kicker it for two. Okay, did, did I click three? Two. Okay. Black. Black, black, let's just play all black. And say go. I guess they can sacrifice Bray and their mana rocks to kill it. Nope, not this turn. Signet. Yes, please. I'm going for it. No guts, no glory, right? Looks like they're killing Edgar Markov on the spot. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Guess they didn't need to kill Brea. But I successfully achievement get cast Edgar Markov. Probably not going to happen again this game. Opponent pays eight life for a fiery confluence. Uh, okay. Dang. All 
All right, Vizra Seer. Opponents at six life at least. I believe that gives blood gas haste. If that player has no cards in your hand. Alright. Let's cast that and say go. Oh, that doesn't trigger till my upkeep. Not going to attack. If they kill it, I can at least scry. Jeez. All the removal. Um, bottom. And that gets back Blood Crypt, but that's not enough. Bottom. Okay. That might give us away. You have a counter spell? Remand. All right. It doesn't do that much. It actually gives me an extra vampire. Draws them a card. What's this? All right. Second Brea. They can recast Brea. They got rid of all their mana rocks though. All right, get a blood crit back. Yes. Uh, no good attacks here. I'm at 13 life. It's not insignificant. But if we draw another land, well, they just sacrifice Bray to kill Edgar Markov. Alright. See if we can go wide. Opponents of five life. Is this a three two flyer if we discard a card? Alright, let's go. Don't think I'm blocking Bray if they attack. Yeah, there's no attacks there. They're down to four. But they need that mana for something that can't be good for me. That's weird. Okay. Brutal War Chief. That might do it.
You gonna let me attack? You can't let me attack. Oh, that does do it. Wow. Whew. That was a close one. Yeah, they uh they could have sacked the two birds, but then they take four damage from all the other uh all the other things. So uh managed to beat Brea through three mass removal spells, although one of them was fiery confluence, which cost my opponent eight life. So yeah. So obviously the deck not very good against those green mana wrap decks. Um I think it's probably pretty good against Bray in general. Um, if they play a lot of mass removal. I mean, we just wore our opponent out of cards though. So it seems like it's pretty good. Um, and then uh, we were able to. And you know like whenever your opponent stalls on mana. Or removal or anything like that. Um, aggro decks are meant to punish when your, your opponent stalls out. So they're going to be good in general. Especially an efficient aggro deck like this. Um, one that actually can dole out 30 life. Um, fairly easily. So yeah, I mean it's a cool deck. Um, I definitely I definitely like the what it's done to the meta game. Um, and I, I like that while this ability, this eminence is strong, it's it's very beatable. Like people have found ways to actually beat it. It's not like it's unstoppable or anything like that. So um, it's it seems mostly fair. So let's go ahead and uh, still commanders in these things. So let's I'm gonna open it. I think the uh, the estimated value is higher now. Yeah, we got a dollar fifty out of a two dollar treasure, but I'm, I am two play points away from a third match. But hopefully, hopefully we get more before uh, before that happens. But that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.